Welcome back to the channel where today we will be making short crust pastry and I will also be showing you how to blind bake. If you are new around here and you would like to improve your baking and learn new techniques then start right now by hitting subscribe. Begin by adding the butter and salt to the flour and then rub with your fingertips until all the butter is combined and you have a breadcrumb texture. When combined, make a well in the centre of the bowl and gently add the ice cold water a little bit at a time until the pastry is combined. When combined into a nice dough ball, cover and refrigerate for a minimum of 20 minutes but preferably longer. This is to allow the glutens in the flour that have built up during the kneading process to relax, otherwise you will end up with a stretchy and elastic -y dough. When blind baking, you will need to line the tart shells with greaseproof paper. Do this by folding some greaseproof paper and then using something slightly larger than the shells, such as a plate, to cut out the circles. If you're not comfortable doing this, you can always cut around with scissors. Roll the pastry out into a rectangular shape, making sure you use plenty of flour on both the board and on top of the pastry to prevent it sticking to the board or the rolling pin. Roll the pastry out until it's approximately 3mm in thickness. Once the pastry has been rolled out, let the pastry sit for approximately 2 minutes to allow the glutens to relax. Using the tart shell as a guide, cut the pastry into pieces that are slightly larger than the shell itself. The top tip is to cut a small piece of pastry off one of the sheets and roll into a ball. This will help when it comes to pushing the pastry right into the tin. Using your thumbs, gently press the pastry into the tin. Lightly dust the inside of the pastry shell and then using the ball of pastry, push the pastry right into the edges of the tin. Using a pair of scissors, trim off the excess, but make sure you do leave an overhang. Once all your tart shells are lined, again, allow them to rest for a few minutes to allow the pastry to relax. For the baking process, line each tin with a piece of grease root paper and then fill with baking beans. You do not necessarily need to buy expensive baking beans, I simply use out of date pulses such as leftover rice. Fill the shells with the baking beans, making sure you press down firmly to ensure that as much of the grease root paper as possible contacts the inside of the tart shell. Bake at 160 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, remove from the oven, take the baking beans out and then return to the oven for a further 5 minutes. Both the baking beans and the paper can be used again. Remove from the oven and allow to cool. When cooled, take a knife and trim the shells flush with the tin.
The finished shells can be filled for something such as a tart or they can be used for baking, again for something like a quiche. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, share and subscribe and for more cooking and baking check out one of the videos on screen now.